the only thing I can say about driving around in the mode like this, with the, with the dual cameras, is you kind of you kind of forget which side's the rear and which side's the front. You gotta have to kind of have that in your mind. And driving a car like this is a little bit difficult, anyways, because you kind of don't know where the heck you're at anyway with half of this stuff. But the picture is really, really good. I mean, like it, it looks pretty darn good. It's pretty, really, pretty interesting. You really, it's pretty cool. What's going on, guys? All right, today installing this Vanguard mirror dash cam on my 1990 Nissan Skyline. Uh, basically, it's a front cam and a rear cam, and it's a backup camera. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you how this thing works real quick. It's pretty cool. All right, so here's the unit itself. It just fits over your existing mirror. Um, it's got two wires. One is for the backup camera, and one is for the power cable. I'll show you how, how this thing works here in a minute. But I just ran it across the top of here um, real quick. Ran it down the pillar. And it actually uses a cigarette lighter for the power. I'm going to end up changing that later. I might uh, hardwire it in when I put a new radio in this thing, which uh, I'm going to do pretty soon. But uh, I'll power it up here in a second. And then the uh, the uh, rear cam cable just ran it across back that way. This thing had a CD changer in it, so I just used that to actually uh, fish all my wires back to the back. And uh, yeah, so here's the power cable. There's some wiring from the CD changer. And uh, I'm going to actually hardwire this in later. I'm going to do the radio. but. It's enough power, power wired where I can just plug it in right here like this. And then ran the way, wire out through here, into the trunk, through a grommet in the trunk, and back here to the camera. I'm gonna end up mounting, mounting something like this, right over here. And then all you gotta do is tap in one of your reverse lights, one of the power wires. No big deal, pretty simple, okay. So what I decided was, is I was gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and remove that CD changer now because I got actually got a stereo on the way because uh, I was looking at the, uh, the cabling and stuff. Here's the cable for the CD changer. It runs all the way to the back. And I think I'll actually use it to fish this wire back through there, make it nice and easy. So I decided to go ahead and take it out. And another reason why I decided to take it out now is that there's all this wire underneath this carpet. There's a tuner and everything so I think this is a good time to go ahead and take it out oh man this thing is heavy man oh Jesus I gotta admit working on this old car is pretty easy uh, all the hardware is really easy to work on it's just super easy uh, it's pretty nothing really you know the newer cars, a lot of things don't want to come apart and things like to break and stuff, but this one comes apart pretty easy. All right, so here's something you don't think about, and that's spare tire is flat, and it's 30 years old, so I'll see in a minute if I can put any air in it. Let me pull it out. All right, guys, so the unit itself actually has a battery in it. Went ahead and started the car. It's already on. And right now it's showing you the front camera. This is actually the view of uh, the front uh, front dash cam. And if you touch the screen, um, it'll actually show you what it's recording. It gives you the date and everything like that. Um, and actually a split screen. This is the rear cam right here. If I hit it again, show me just the rear. It's pretty, it's, uh, the, I don't know what it looks like through the camera. You can kind of see the reflection uh, of myself through the camera. That's really not that big of an issue um, when you really get a look at it. Um, it's really not that big of a deal. There was a little bit of glare and you can move the mirror up and down to kind of get rid of it. Um, but I think it shows up more in the video than actually than what, what I'm actually seeing. There's a button down here at the bottom and if you press it, it pretty much turns it off and it goes straight mirror. So you can see there. And uh, that's how I normally drive with it right there. Turn it back on, and uh, yeah, that's the rear cam, and we've been recording. Okay, hit it again, split screen, it's pretty cool. So it's recording all this, I can go back and I'll show you exactly what the footage looks like um, through here. Um, hit the home button, and basically right now it's recording. I mean, it's still, it's, it's giving me a lot of information, the time, it's, it's charging the battery, uh, the date, and this is, uh, 4-7-2020, this is right in the middle of the, 
the COVID-19 thing, right? Right in the middle of this thing, man, where everyone's just chilling. If you look at my neighborhood, everyone's just running around outside. No one's been to work for a while. Okay, so this is photo mode here, okay? You can go and take pictures while you drive. Okay, you wanna take some photos and whatnot. Switch it around to the back. All right, anti-shake, okay? This is just like stability, it is on. It shows you all your little settings here. We'll go back to video. Now we're gonna go hit the gear right here, and these are the video settings here. So you can change your resolution. Okay, it's on the highest. Okay, you want dual. Okay, you want to record both the front and the back at the same time. Okay. Uh, cycle. I gotta find out what cycle means. I really don't know what cycle is. Let's see. Let me see this real quick. It comes with a really good instruction manual. I'm kind of going through it right now. I'm learning how it's working. Cycle. Change the record time of each video. Options are off. One minute, three minutes, five minutes. If you choose a time length one, three, or five. The new files will be over in the old files. Blah, blah, blah. If you choose the option off, each recording will be saved in three minute time lengths. Okay. And the dash cam will stop recording once the space of the micro SD is full. Okay, so we want to set that. Let me go back here. You definitely want to set cycle for five minutes. That's why it keeps, keeps going. So we go to gravity. What it will do is if your car actually gets hit, if it feels like it got into a collision or whatever, it'll actually, whatever it was recording at the time, it'll lock that recording and won't record over it. That's what that's for. Okay, and then you can turn the sound. Okay, recording the sound on and off. We wanna record sound on. And guard, this is for if it's powered off and it's parked and it gets hit, it'll also record and actually lock and save that recording if it gets hit. This is good in case, you know, like if you're in a parking lot or something like that. You know and uh, you're in the store and it gets hit okay same thing with the license you can turn that on okay so I'm just gonna go through the video settings and I'm not gonna go through all the picture stuff because I'm not really into that but anti shake sharpness all this stuff like that um, you can adjust what kind of pictures it's gonna take I'm really not gonna use that I'm basically gonna use it as you know a dash cam in case I get an accident someone hits it in a parking lot things like that and really uh, it's a really good backup cam um, for you know car like this it's all lowered and I can't really see uh, the last thing I want to do is run over something and damage the rear bumper so being able to put it in reverse right and it's showing me slip right over to uh, this this right here and actually shows me uh, like how far away you know to uh, before I need to stop I mean and I'll go ahead and show you some uh, driving footage and that's pretty much it I can say about driving around in the mode like this with the, with the dual cameras is you kind of you kind of forget which side's the rear and which side's the front. You gotta have to kind of have that in your mind. And driving a car like this is a little bit difficult, anyways, because you kind of don't know where the heck you're at anyway with half of this stuff. But the picture is really, really good. I mean, like it, it looks pretty darn good. It's pretty, really, pretty interesting. You really, it's pretty cool. All right, guys, well, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the video. This was a simple, simple install. Um, it's pretty cool to bring some tech like this to an old car that I got, you know, this thing's like 30 years old. If you want to see more on the car, do me a favor and just hit the subscribe button. There's going to be a lot more on, you know, me working on this thing. Um, if you want some real detailed product information on the dash cam, uh, I'll leave a link down in the description box. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up. Uh, Right now, you know, be as safe as you can. Wash your hands. Stay away from everybody. You guys take care. Be safe. Have a great weekend. Have a great week. Later.